Well, today is the deadline for California health care workers to get vaccinated or file for an exemption. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell joins us live. Marie, there are other high risk situations that have been added to this vaccine mandate list. Yeah, Virginia, so in addition to health care settings, the state has also added senior care facilities and those involved in home care services to the list. Healthcare workers have until today to show proof they've gotten at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine or have filed for an exemption as mandated by the state. So far, Sharp Healthcare says almost 92% of their total workforce are vaccinated, while 539 are still unvaccinated. Scripps Health says about 93% of its workforce have been vaccinated, with about 140 employees who have not complied or received an exemption. That's less than 1% of its workforce. If they aren't compliant by the end of the day, Scripps says they will be fired. But Scripps adds they will hire them back if they get vaccinated. Other local health systems, including Kaiser and Palomar Health, are putting non-compliant employees on unpaid leave for a month or two before they face termination. ABC 10 News spoke with a nurse who has worked for Rady Children's Hospital for more than 12 years. She doesn't believe a vaccine mandate will keep patients and staff safe. Those of us who are not vaccinated are the safest people in the room with these pediatric patients. We are tested twice a week. We wear PPE. And so the other nurses who have decided to get the vaccine, they are not tested. And as we know, those who have even had the full series of COVID vaccinations can still come down with the disease. They can still be infected. Earlier this week, the state health department sent this letter out saying all workers in adult and senior care facilities and in home care services must also be vaccinated by the end of November. The letter cites among the nearly 20,000 confirmed COVID-19 outbreaks in the state during the pandemic, 47% were connected to high-risk settings such as adult and senior care facilities or in-home care services, where they say many cases have been tracked back to those who are not vaccinated. Now, we did reach out to the other health care systems in our area to find out where they are in terms of their compliance list, and we're still waiting to hear back from them. Reporting from home, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News. Thank you, Marie.